Well, I don't think it was about anything more uh, complicated than trying to draw out the Army of the Potomac and defeat them in some decisive battle, wherever it was, and in doing that, try to send political shockwaves across the North and into Europe. That's why some people argue Lee's concept of the war is outdated. He sees this as a, a war of decisive battles, where a single victory against a foe could change the tide of affairs. I think um, it's fair to say that this was a war of campaigns. It was a, a series of campaigns, mostly from the Union side, that were determining the fate uh, of the Confederacy. Lee uh, struck a different posture here and Longstreet could not convince them otherwise. They argued on the morning of July 2nd, but Lee insisted on directing what turned out to be a series of flanking maneuvers against the Union lines that are now known as the fish hook. The Union was arrayed in a kind of semicircle uh, extended that looked like a fish hook from Culp's Hill on the eastern side of town through Cemetery Hill southward toward a series of hills that we can't see from here but which are known as the round tops, big and little round top. Uh, that becomes uh, Lee's objective, to probe either end and to order a flanking maneuver that might break through the Union lines at some point and secure him that decisive victory. But unfortunately for Lee, Longstreet's forces can't march on that flanking maneuver without being watched from